AWS has variety of accelerated or GPU enabled EC2 instances types, which you can use for generative AI or machine learning. One of the most cost effective EC2 instance with GPU on AWS is G4 family. G4 DN family of instances feature NVIDIA's T4 GPUs and custom Intel Cascade Lake CPUs. These G4DN instances are optimized for machine learning inference and also for small scale training. So if you're looking for an EC2 instance where you can test run your models, most likely the quantized one, then I would suggest going with G4DN instances. Having said that, once you have provisioned these G4DN instances with Windows operating system, then normally you would think that in order to uh, get your GPUs for your models or to use them, they would maybe come pre-installed with GPU drivers, but that is not the case. So in that case, you might just go to NVIDIA's website and try to look for data center drivers for Windows or whatever drivers are required for your GPU card. And if you don't know what your GPU card is, so again, you can go to this website, where of AWS, where you can see that okay, it is using NVIDIA's T4 GPUs, and you can even look for more detail on the instance types here. But once you download these drivers from NVIDIA and install them, and if you run your task manager, you still don't see any GPU here. That is what I already have done, but still, GPU is not visible here in this. Um, task manager window. So what do you do then? Well, after much ado, I was able to find the solution buried deep in the AWS documentation. So in this case, especially for G4 instances, you need to install the grid drivers. Now, what is grid driver? Grid drivers are these where you would install, uh, where which are only available for AWS customers. And Windows 2000 Server 16 is not supported on them. So I'm running Windows 2022 base one, and I need to install these NVIDIA's grid drivers from AWS instead of the NVIDIA's data center drivers or any other drivers from this website. So let me show you how you can do that. The first step you need to do is to open the PowerShell with your administrator. So type PowerShell here, right click on Windows PowerShell and run as administrator. Let's wait. Okay, so as it is an EC2 instance, so make sure that the instance role or instance profile connected to this EC2 instance has S3 rights. Once you have that, you need to run following commands in your PowerShell. And let me paste this command here. Let me grab them from my system and then paste it here. These commands are also available in AWS. So you can see that I have pasted it here. Let's wait for it to download and finish. So what this command is doing is, it is going to this bucket, then it is getting the latest drivers for NVIDIA grid one and then downloading it to this local system. So let's wait for it to finish. It takes a bit of a time to download. And once the download is finished, it will put it on your desktop on your EC2 instance. And also make sure that this EC2 instance has the instance profile with read-only rights to S3. Let's wait for it to finish. So you can see that it is downloading now. Takes a bit of a time, so don't worry, just wait and um, watch for it to get started and complete. All it is doing it, it is going to AWS region US East one, and then from this bucket, which has been provided by AWS, it is downloading this driver. And once that's done, it is going to put it on your desktop. So let's wait for it to finish. And then we will check it on our desktop. So that is done. Cool. Now let's minimize this. 
And on the desktop, you can see that we have NVIDIA folder. In that one, go to NVIDIA latest, and then this is your driver. So let's double click on it. Click on OK. Let's wait for it. It is extracting, it takes a bit of a time. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. It's now starting the installer, agree and continue, express this fine. Installation is in progress, should not take too long here. So the installation is finished, click on close. Now let's check your task manager and now GPU is visible. And now whatever you, software you are using should be using this GPU from now on. So this is how you install your GPU drivers on Windows in EC2 instance by using their AWS's NVIDIA script driver. I hope that this was useful. If you are still stuck um, and unable to proceed or if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.